Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie is with another tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you how sharpening your images globally is going to ruin your photos. So I want to show you how you sharpen your images wrongly and how that is going to make your photos look very weird. So usually we have a misconception that when we sharpen the images we feel like we're going to get back the original skin details like uh, we had it or like we usually see on the internet in most images which is wrong remember when you sharpen the images it's going to be adding some kind of artifact or some unusual effects or details within the image so let me show you initially what we tend to do when you are sharpening the images and i want to show you later on how you can even correct it and get the best out of the images if i told you want to sharpen the images and also get a good texture in your photos so what i'm going to do i'm just going to create a stamp visible layer so usually we sharpen the image just at the end of the retouching process so i'm going to come right here and i'm going to create a stamp visible layer by clicking or holding down the buttons on the keyboard that is shift alternate command e on the keyboard or shift alternate control e on the keyboard so shift alternate command e for mac or shift let me repeat this shift alternate command e on the keyboard if at all you have mac and if at all you have windows you can use shift alternate control e on the keyboard so i'm just going to create that stamp with bolea to create a screenshot for all our processes that we are made when we are retouching and even color grade, color grading our image so this is going to be a layer that is going to be containing all the information it's going to be like a stamp visible layer so usually we come right here to filter then we come to other then we come to hyper so usually some people when they are not getting enough detail or information in the image they come and take the radius all the way up so i've seen images that have a very high radius so i'm just going to use a radius of around 4.1 and just hit ok then come to the blend mode and change it to vivid light so i'm just going to come right here and i'm going to change it to uh, vivid light so i'm just going to scroll down i don't know why i'm failing to get my vivid light so when i turn when i turn it to vivid light right now the image may be looking good so when you turn this on and off you feel like the image is sharp but let me show you the issue here so when you zoom in this image, just look at how the image has been sharpened or how it is looking right now. Just look at this, the before and after. Just look at those black artifacts that are created. And usually when you post such an image on Instagram, these are going to be evidently shown in your image. So these, these powers that are black that are as a result of sharpening are going to display or they are going to be showing in your image. Because you're trying to, you're going to get something that looks like this when you post your image. I don't know if at all you can see this on YouTube due to compression. But when you post the image, maybe on Facebook or even Instagram, it's going to be looking like this. And it's going to be looking a little bit, or it's going to be looking very weird. Because you applied the sharpening to the overall image. So let me show you. So that is how sharpening can ruin your images, if at all you apply it on a global basis. By global, I mean by sharpening the overall image, and that can result as a result of using a very high high pass value. So you shouldn't use a very high high pass value. So I'm just going to undo all this. I'm just going to undo everything. So I'm just going to come to my history, and I'm going to come and undo everything so i'm just going to delete this so in order to sharpen the image remember we just want the sharpening to be in specific areas of the image usually when you missed out on this step like most of us that tend to use frequency separation as a skin retouching technique always make sure to retain your details in the image the best way and you have the best texture because that is going to help you to not over sharpen the image remember sharpening we only want specific areas to be sharp and we can't sharpen the image 
on the screen in, in order to get back the details so that is the very first step before you even do any sharpening so if at all you miss out on the skin details when you use frequency separation as a skin retouching technique it means that you are not going to be having the information or the original skin details in your photos so you can opt for tutorials like how to create texture in photoshop but that, that is not going to be looking very very natural and realistic or you can opt to sharpen the image but still it is not going to be looking perfect so i would recommend that you watch the video that i'm going to link right above here in order to have the best detail or the best sharpness or the best skin texture in the images so just watch this video because it is going to help and transform your skin details so that you don't over sharpen your images globally in order to bring back the textures so make sure you watch that video and it's going to be helpful if at all you use frequency separation as a skin retouching technique so let me show you the best way to sharpen the image like i said sharpening you only want to sharpen on specific areas so i'm just going to create a stamp visible layer like i told you shift alternate ctrl e on the keyboard or if at all you have windows then if at all you have mac shift alternate command e on the keyboard so create a stamp visible layer and come to filter then you come down to other and come to high pass so like i said you shouldn't take the radius up so just take the radius down and just move the radius slider slightly up just like that up to a point when you're just starting to look at the lines in the image so a radius of one around 1.2 is good so don't take it all the way up just come and hit ok then come and change the blending mode to vivid light so i'm just going to come and change it to vivid light but you can see it has brought back the sharpening you can see when you sharpen globally and you try zooming in and zooming out the image you tend to look at those funny or weird dark spots within the details or within the areas of high contrast in the photo just look at those dark areas so just want to apply the sharpening on specific areas so in order, in order to do that just come hold on the alternate key on the keyboard and click on this add new layer mask icon so hold on the alternate key on the keyboard or alt on the keyboard and left click here it is going to hide the sharpness from affecting the overall image so simply come to the brushes right click and get the brush tool and the settings the hardness has to be at zero or percent the flat 100 percent smoothing if at all you have this option make sure it is at zero percent and you always have to have black and white here so in order to reset click on these two small boxes and you can switch between black and white by using x on the keyboard so make sure white is on top because white in photoshop is going to be revealing and black hides. that's why the sharpness has been hidden behind the black mask so in order to reveal the sharpness we are going to be painting using a brush that is white to reveal the sharpness so so for portrait photographers the only areas we just want the emphasis to be are the eyes so i'm just going to increase on the size of the brush by using the brackets on the keyboard so just come and paint in the areas we want to sharpen for example the eyes so i'm just going to paint on the eyes and that is going to add dimension and put emphasis and focus onto the eyes because this is the first thing someone looks at when they look at a portrait so just look at how the difference on or how sharp these eyes have turned out to be just look at the before after before after let me just zoom in a little bit you can see the before and after before after so this is the best way to sharpen the images in photoshop so we can't so what we have learned from this tutorial we can't apply global sharpening because some areas are going to be looking weird so just want to apply sharpening on specific areas of the images and you can't bring back skin texture by sharpening the images you can only bring or retain the natural skin details by using the right radius when you're using frequency separation in your photos so this is all for this tutorial and if at all you have learned something don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you're watching and you're not subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating